trying to order food. This video shows a Miami Valley man who is deaf being denied service at a Kettering drive-thru. Tonight, that man's family tells us they're angry. Good evening, I'm Kate Barton. I'm James Brown. Tonight, we have video of what happened in that drive-thru earlier this week. And listen to what an employee said that this man was deaf. It's against company policy. I can't do it. And on Facebook, people have shared this video almost 10,000 times. News Center 7's Sean Cudahy is live in Kettering with more of that video and how the company is responding to it. Sean. I think James, the 25-year-old at the center of this, pulled up to the drive through window here at this Taco Bell along Dorothy Lane and says he was surprised what happened when he came face-to-face -face with the worker. He works. He gets his own job. I mean, he pays his own bills. So... He should be able to order his own food, and if, if he chooses to go through the drive-thru... Imagine Becky Birch's surprise when her son, Brandon Washburn, messaged her after he went through this Taco Bell drive-thru and told her he was refused service. And I was just shocked, you know, and I was like, you know, you know it happens, but then when you see it happening to your child, I, I was upset. Because Brandon is deaf, he typed his order on his phone. He went right to the window, showed the worker his order. Birch, who yeah. signs when she talks, so Brandon can follow along, explained what Brandon told her happened next. He didn't. It seemed like they were kind of ignoring me, so he kind of knocked and was waving to get that for their attention. And the man was writing something, and I think another gentleman was trying to say, go around, and he was like, no, you know, time. And then the gentleman handed him the note and said, sorry, we don't take orders at the window. Here's a photo Brandon took of that note. At that point, his girlfriend pulled out her phone and started recording this video. It's against company policy. I can't do it. Then, a threat from the worker whose face we've blurred since he's not facing criminal charges. I will call 911 if you don't move. We'll call the police. Because we can't take it, and you're also not allowed to record me. After seeing this video, I reached out to Taco Bell's corporate offices. In a statement the company said in part, the franchise owner and operator of this location has investigated this situation and the team member no longer works for their organization. All team members in this restaurant are being retrained by the franchise owner on their policies. I think that's a good idea. Our intentions were not to, to have the gentleman fired, but it was just to raise awareness. That's why we put the video out there. I asked Birch what she'd say to that worker. He's a person. There's nothing wrong with him. Just all you have to do is be kind to him and resolve the situation. Okay, how can I help you? I went and checked just a few minutes ago. There's actually a sign at the drive through here encouraging customers with disabilities, including those hard of hearing, to pull right through to the window. Now, Brandon's family argues not serving him was not just not the right thing to do, but actually a violation of the American the provision of the American Disabilities Act requiring that restaurants and other businesses make reasonable accommodations for those with disabilities. Like you can't Sean Kennedy, Houston or something. All right, Sean, tonight we undercover we uncover